Hey everybody, it is the Honey Badger, and today we're gonna continue the interior work on the 720. At this point, we have the kill mat in the vehicle. We've started prepping our carpet to go in the vehicle as well, but to fully get the carpet back in and kind of the base of the interior finished, um, we're gonna prep the rear interior pieces of the truck because those help hold the carpet in place along with uh, like the plastic side parts that where the door and the carpet meet. Um, that also needs to go in. So we're gonna get some of that stuff painted so we can get that carpet kind of back in fully because we gotta trim it to fit. So we're gonna get these pieces um, done up so we can put all that in and kind of get the back part of the truck kind of taken care of and finished. Now to paint, all of the blue interior trim pieces, which is pretty much everything. We're gonna be using some SEM color coat paint that's meant for uh, interiors um, specifically. This is a satin black, which should look pretty good. I'll leave you a link in the description to check it out. I've had really good luck with SEM paints over the years. I think they make some of the higher quality in can spray paints. Um, you can get. So definitely check those out if you're looking to do something very similar. But we need to prep this stuff so we can get it in. We have also more interior pieces to paint as well. So I'm just going to start painting them. We got them out of the vehicle. We've cleaned them up. We got all the dirt off of them. Any oils that hopefully uh, are, were on them are now off of them as well. Um, did some light scuff sanding as well on some of them that needed it. Um, because after we get this taken care of, we can move on to the front part with the dash. And uh, we're going to be doing something a little bit more special with that. That'll be a different video when we go and we paint and wrap the dash in a certain way um, with a certain finish. So it um, should be really, really neat. So make sure you are subscribed for that as well. Check out the merch uh, down below in the description too. But other than that, let's just jump into this, start getting these uh, pieces painted so we can put them in with the carpet and kind of get all of that wrapped up so we can continue moving forward to the, the dash as well. Oh, one last thing we need to do. These house behind them, the seat belts, which were also blue and worn out. Old seat belts are actually dangerous. Um, they do not secure as well, and they do wear out over time. So we have new seat belts that we're going to put in too. We'll throw those into the cab right now because they go behind these pieces that we're going to paint and put in. So we'll get our new seat belts mounted as well, and then things should be uh, rocking and rolling the right direction to continue onward with the seats that are going in, the dash that's going in, and everything else that's going to be getting addressed in the pickup. So let's get to painting. we have it we have the carpet as you can see um, we're in the back of the cab um, as you can see we have the uh, the carpet is down and in it's being held in place now by the uh, the rear panel that's in we also wrapped that so that looks really good we'll uh, go over that soon when we do the door cards on how that's done um, It's really simple on the back it looks really clean um, and a lot better than it did before and then we have obviously the rear panels that we painted in uh, with the windows, you know, the roof, uh, we didn't do the headliner, so obviously that's still blue, but uh, everything else is black. We didn't put the jumper seats back in. We might do that later on, but for now, this gave us more room. I just wanted to get the cab back together because we just had a 15-inch uh, uh, snowfall. 
and I needed uh, to have the pickup ready so we could take it out in the uh, incredibly terrible conditions. So uh, everything's taken care of on the inside. As you can see, the seats are in too and the door cards are done and actually everything's done because I needed to rush to get it done. But we'll have more future videos on those real soon um, as everything now is taken care of. But the carpet looks great. Um, I'll leave links down below in the description to the carpet and to any of the other materials I used. Um, and yeah, things look fantastic. So uh, look for videos coming up real soon on the rest of the interior. And until then, guys, make sure you are subscribed and uh, leave a like on the video, and I'll see you guys next time. So